life is truly a game. And as in any game, you need a team. You need to formulate and build a team in any game you're playing, unless it's an individual game like golf or tennis. But even with those games, those individual games, those solo games, they have teams. They definitely have teams, teams that are behind the scenes that help them uh, off the court, uh, you know, off the field uh, to prepare them to be the best player they can be on the field. They definitely have a team. They just don't have a team that plays the game with them on the field, on the court, but they have a team. So as in life, man, you must build the right team. And what you want to do, you want to build a team that influences you in a positive direction. That's what you want to do. And you got to make sure within that team, you have people in the proper position. You may, and, and I've done this, I'm sure you've done this. You've had people in the wrong position. And before you cut them off, man, before you cut them off, I want you to sit back and really analyze their gifts, their talents, uh, what they really bring to the table. And you may not need to cut them off. You may uh, just need to put them in the right position. You wanted them to do one thing and be one thing when that's not their position or their natural position. And uh, you're frustrated. You cut them off uh, when, in fact, someone else needs to be in that position. And maybe you just need to move them around to another position. Now, I know in today's game of, uh, we'll say basketball, it is a positionless sport now. Everybody can play any position now in basketball, but I'm going to take it old school, man. We're going to take it old school. Where everybody has a position of responsibility. Uh, everybody knows what they're supposed to be doing, and the positions are not so interchangeable. So, man, we got the point man. We got the, uh, the shooting guard. We got the small forward, the, the – uh, the 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 uh the big forward the strong forward and we got the center that's what we got man five positions and you are the coach you are the coach now check this out you are the coach of your team of your life but you are a team member a team player in the lives of others and so are you out of position or do you need to even be on the team in the lives of others. Let's talk about it. Get your glasses up, get your glasses up, a toast to the men. Now on this team, we have five positions. The five positions are goals. You must have a person that influences your goals in a positive way. Second position, thoughts. You must have a player that influences your thoughts in a positive way. Third position, we got beliefs. Yeah, that's different, thoughts and beliefs. Close, but they're different. They're, they're, uh, they're similar, they're cousins, but it is a big difference. You gotta have somebody on the team that influences your beliefs in a positive manner. Income, yeah, it's very important. You must have a person, a player on your team that influences your income in a positive manner. Last but not least, man, coming in at center, we got health. Oh yeah, man, health. Any good center, man, that is that is the uh, the foundation of any good team. We're not talking about today's game in basketball. We're taking it old school, where the positions are are not so interchangeable. We're taking it old school. You must have a good center to hold your team down, and that's health coming in at number five. That's how you want to form your team, man. That's the five players of your team. Goals, thoughts, beliefs, income, and health. Now, check this out. Goals. We'll say that's the point guard. Coming in, point guard, the floor general. Uh, the leader on the team, the extension of the coach. The point guard is an extension of the coach. Uh, gets people in position. Knows every position. Uh, doesn't necessarily play every position, but they know where you're supposed to be and they know how to get you in position. Goals coming in at PG, point guard. Man, this is so important to have people around you. Uh, this is this is very important 
uh, goals, someone who influences your goals. Um, this is probably the hardest position to feel, feel for me in the past, uh, to connect or get someone on the team that really was going where I wanted to go or could really influence my goals. Um, yeah, yeah, that's that's the hardest position. And sometimes I had people in that position that did not uh, need to be in that position. And it wasn't fair to them. Uh, I would become frustrated, you know, and probably even cut these people off because I was looking something from them to influence my goals, uh, to, to help push me where I wanted to go, help influence me to go where I wanted to go when that's, that wasn't in them. I uh, had them out of position and that wasn't fair to them. And uh, that's one of the worst things that can happen on the team. Uh, that will uh, mess up the camaraderie and the spirit of a team, people out of position. So you definitely want to have the right person in position. Uh, that goals position is very important because that's progression. Uh, that's where that creative space is. Uh, yesterday we talked about circulating energy. Hey, that's where that's where that open mindedness comes from, pushing forward growth. And so you must have the right person in that position of goals. Uh, if you don't, man, you become stagnant. You will become stagnant, and uh, there will be no growth, no forward movement. So have the right position in that position of goals coming in as shooting guard thoughts yes thoughts now you may say well man if you got somebody uh, in a good position of uh goals you know they 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 may they should have positive thoughts not necessarily now you can be a hybrid player where you can play two positions or multiple positions but um and they may work for a while or you got a person playing two positions. They may work, that may work for a while, but what you want to do, you want people in position, uh, in their natural position. You know, not so much a hybrid role, but you want people playing their natural position. Now, I know people who are goal-oriented, oriented. Um, they complete goals, they complete tasks, uh, they move forward, they're accomplishing a lot. But man, they got some messed up thought processes, man. The thought process is messed up. Their thinking is messed up, but they're just go-getters. They know how to get things done. They know how to accomplish things. Uh, they know how to clean their plate, but their thinking is warped. I I'm telling you, man, I, I won't say any names, but some family members have popped up in my head. Um, yeah, I got an aunt who's a true go-getter. Uh, smart, very intelligent. Uh, but man, you don't want her to really influence, influence your thoughts. Yeah, man, she'll have you messed up. So you got to know what position she's supposed to be playing in your life. And then when she tries to creep over into this other position of thoughts, uh, that's where you make your exit and uh, you wish, you wish her well. And uh, you know, you come back around when she's in her natural position. So yeah. So you don't get it confused just because a person is accomplishing a lot and uh, they're setting goals, completing goals, conquering goals, knocking them down, that they have positive thinking. No, some people have warped thinking, but they accomplish their goals. Trust me, very, very possible. Now, coming in, number three, man, the small forward, beliefs, beliefs. Uh, no, we just finished thoughts. Beliefs and thoughts are two totally different things, man. Uh, I can have positive thinking, have a, a good outlook, a good perspective about life. But, you know, what do I believe in? What do I, uh, what is my, my moral, my spiritual fabric? Uh, what do I believe in? Uh, do I believe in God? Do I believe in the universe? Do I believe in the all? Am I atheist? Do I believe in myself? Do I believe I am the manifestation of God? Uh, what do I believe in? Do I believe in anything, right? 
Uh, so even though someone is a positive thinker and accomplishes goals, if they don't have a spiritual foundation, uh, man, that's a scary place to be in. And it's very possible. So you want to be around people that are uh, solid spiritually. You know, they're, they, uh, they're, they're, uh, they're steady, steadfast. Uh, you know where to go when you need that spiritual reinforcement. Um, but they, you know, may not necessarily be the right person to go to to push you uh, in a positive way with your goals you know, or, or your, your thinking, you know, uh, it may be too, too, uh, far out there for you too, you know, their spiritual beliefs and maybe, you know, too progressive for you. So you want a good balance, uh, and people in their natural position. And like I said, man, when people are out of position, you'll get frustrated and, and not realize if, uh, sometimes like, Hey, I don't need to cut this person off. I got them out of position and it's not even their fault most times. Now, people will try to fulfill a position that's not meant for them. That, that happens. But sometimes it's on, it's on us, the coach, placing people in the wrong position. I've done that. Now, I've done that in relationships, uh, intimate uh, relationships I've been with, you know, with women. I've done that with friendships, platonic friendships. I've had people out of position. And uh, like I said, man, it can be frustrating. Now, man, coming in at strong floor, we got income. Yes, income. You want a player in this position who can influence you. Influence you. This means influences means God you. God you. Uh, your behavior, your character, your attitude, your outlook. Right? But you want the influencer that's going to guide you and influence you. Uh, point you in the right direction. So income, very important. Uh, I know the scripture says man should not eat by bread alone, but also by the word of God. That's true. We already filled those positions, right? But now we're talking about the bread, the physical bread, right? We got to have money. We got to have income in this world. So you want a person in that position can influence you in a positive way income wise now just because they can influence your life in a positive way when it comes to income doesn't mean they have the right thought process doesn't mean they have a sound belief system right doesn't mean that they're uh, necessarily accomplishing goals it doesn't mean that it could mean that they could be a hybrid player playing two or three or four all positions could be but their natural position we want the person here in the natural position is income. They know how to get that income. I'm telling you, man. Uh, and a lot of times, man, this is where people would get turned off because they got this person in the wrong position. They want them to play two roles when they're only supposed to be in your life to influence your income. But this person may be an a-hole, but they know how to get to the money. They attract money. They are drawn to money and legally. They are drawn to money. Money is drawn to them. This is just the way it is. I know these people, but they can have some messed up thinking, man. Uh, they can have a messed up belief system, right? Their goals are not probably not even accomplishing things they set out to accomplish, but they know how to get to the money. It just like, they just have it, man. They have this gift where money follows them. And when you're near this person, you're going to get to the money too. But you got to, like I said, this person could possibly play multiple positions, but don't cut this person off, man, if this person is an a-hole and they talk about all the time, they're talking about what they got and what someone else doesn't have. No. Hey, man. See it for what it is. They're in your life for one reason. Now, great if they got a great belief system along with the income, a great thought process along with the income. You know, they're accomplishing goals they set out along with the income. Great. But this person is just drawn to money and money is drawn to them. 
and they don't fulfill the other positions, that's okay. Stop looking for this person to play other positions in your life. They're not there for that. They're there for the income. That's what they're there for, man. And, and that's perfectly all right. Everybody can't be everything for you, right? Put people in the right position. Now, coming in at number five, that center position, man, health. Health is wealth. There is none of this. Your belief system doesn't matter. The income doesn't matter. Your goals uh, doesn't matter. Your thought process doesn't matter if you don't have good health because you're not going to be on this earth long. Or if you are on this earth long uh, with bad health, man, you're going to suffer. And um, I don't know, man. I think inherently or subconsciously, uh, there's a bit of respect loss for people who are unhealthy. Yeah, yeah, man. I, I'll be honest, man. When uh, I don't care how much money you got, how positive uh, you talk, um, how healthy your, your thought, your thinking is, um, yeah, your belief system. Bro, when you're, when you're, when I see someone that, like, just unhealthy, and I'm not a huge stickler, stickler on, on health, right? But I'm, I'm talking about, like, very unhealthy. It's like, man, everything they have to offer you that's positive goes out of the window. Uh, because you can't get past what you see, that this person is, is just gravely unhealthy. You know, uh, they're close to dying. And I'm not talking about BBWs. I'm not talking about that. And, you know, what's a BBW? That's that's subjective. Uh, I'm not talking about the thickness or big bone. No, no, no. I'm not talking about that. That's subjective. I'm talking about where we can all agree this is unhealthy, where it's not subjective at all. The consensus says this is unhealthy. And this person is uh, close to death. Yeah, man, I've seen some very intelligent people, some very accomplished people. Uh, I had a manager <clears throat> who was my director years ago, man. A uh, smart guy, very intelligent guy, well-spoken guy. Um, but this guy, man, was, was just morbidly obese, and he was constantly sick. He was constantly sick. He was constantly missing days. He couldn't get around the job well. Um yeah, I just, and maybe I'm wrong, but, you know, I was a young guy then, but I don't know, man. It, it, it took away from his influence, you know? It took away from his influence because that help was out of, uh, was, was, uh, was out of place. But, but I had him in the wrong position, right? And sometimes we do that, even when it comes to help. Right. So maybe we should we should overlook that and say, OK, man, I know this person is just out of control with the weight, out of control. But they bring this. They bring this to my life and they can play this position so well. This is their natural position over here. And so. Uh, yeah, there's people that are health gurus, are very healthy with messed up thought processes though, uh, don't have a sound belief system, uh, are not accomplishing a lot. I know people, man, who are health gurus who are very healthy physically, but sick mentally. And and some of them, uh, a lot of them don't even have their, their, their paper straight. It can, it can happen, but they can greatly influence you on the health tip. Yeah, so, you know, uh, have people in the right position and don't look for people to play roles that they're not cut out to play, which are not their natural positions. Man, one time I was, uh, I was talking uh, to a group of friends and one of the friends, there were about four of us sitting around and, and one of the friends had an issue, had a problem. And she began to express to us her dilemma, her problem. And she finished. And me being me, uh, I became 
I begun to uh, come up with a solution, trying to figure out a solution to fix the problem. That's me being me. Another friend that was sitting there goes, oh man, here goes Stacy with this positivity. I'm like, what? But that's me. Uh, maybe this chick had me in the wrong position. You got to let me be me. Now, if you want somebody to uh, sit up with and cry with and, and, and uh, you know, eat, eat donuts and, and, and sulk, um, complain, be bitter. Yeah, I'm not the guy. I'm not really the guy for that. Uh, there's nothing against that guy. That's not my position. And so, uh, yeah, that shit had me in the wrong position. She got to let me be me. Um, you know, it, it's to, it was to the point one time, man, I was sitting thinking like, damn, man, I don't cry at funerals. I, I really, I really don't show a lot of emotion, you know, when, 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 uh, when people die at funerals. At the time I hear of death, depending how the person impacted my life, I, I may show emotion, but in general, I'm not really saddened by death. And it's the way I look at death. I don't look at death as a bad thing. I, I really don't. Um, but one time I was thinking, I was like, man, if a, if a, if a, if a woman I'm dating or my spouse, um, this was years ago, I had this thought. I said, man, if they mysteriously die, man, people will be looking at me weird at the funeral because I don't really show emotion like that. Now, fortunately, I've never had a spouse or, or a girlfriend die, so I really don't know how I would react. You know, I'm just projecting, assuming, you know, I would react the same way and have the same thought process about death. But I, would, I was like, man, I would be the number one suspect because I wouldn't be boohooing. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But people would have me out of position. Like, I would be talking positively. And so uh, that's going to be frowned upon because I'm thinking positive thoughts and, and expressing positive thoughts when they got me out of position. They want me to be something else. And so, yeah, just I thought I'd share that story with you, you know, but that's the thing, man. We we put people in the wrong positions. Uh, I've had girlfriends tell me, I don't I don't want you to fix it. I don't want you to figure out a solution. I just want to vent. I, I just I just want to vent. I'm out of position, baby. You need to, you need to, I don't know, get a home girl or, or something, but that's not really my position. That's not what I do. Uh, I fix things. I don't, I don't sit around and complain. I figure out things. Uh, I feel like I'm going to win. I feel like you're going to win. I feel like we're going to win. That's, that's my superpower. That's my position. And so uh, I don't care if we're down 50, down 80 points. Man, as long as there's clock, there's like there's time on the clock, we got an opportunity to come back. That's just the way I think. Uh, she had me out of position, and it was frustrating for her because she put me in the wrong position. So yeah, be careful of that, guys. You know, and and when you're on the team, when you're not the coach, and you're a player on others' teams, uh, make sure you you're in the right position. Tell the coach, say, brother, I love you. Sister, I love you, but I don't play that position well. This is what I'm good at. This is what I excel at. You know, um, that's, you know, just be straight up. You got to know who you are and you got to know who your people are, who, you, who your players are. Uh, make sure you're in the right position. Make sure you got people in the right position. And, and we'll go out and get that W because that's what it's all about at the end of the day. It's about the W. You know, and if you can form formulate a, a team uh, that really uh, gets along and, and uh, vibes uh, and, and that's efficient, hey man, and y'all can get the W, it's a beautiful thing, man. It's a beautiful thing. So, man, get that team, build that team with the group of influencers that are, that are in the right position. Very, very important. 
Let me know what you guys think, man. From me to you, love. Peace.